Hello, land investors and outdoor enthusiasts. This is Josh with US Rec Land. Uh, we've got another property coming down the pike here. So uh, want to get that out to you and get you the information so you can take a look for yourself. Uh, this one's actually in Calhoun County. Uh, so we'll actually uh, take a walk through this. But as always, uh, please subscribe to usrecland.com. That is our website, and there are exclusive deals only to the website subscribers. And then also, please subscribe to the YouTube channel for video reviews on all of our new land inventory, just like this one. So let's get started. We're in Calhoun County, Florida, and here's a parcel number for you folks for due diligence if you're looking to move forward with purchase. Uh, we are asking $12,000. And the lot is this particular property is available for RV living. RV living is allowed per the county. Um, but as always, for all the particulars of your own personal checklist, please contact the county. We assume that you've performed your own due diligence prior to moving forward uh, with purchase. And we'll have a look at some of these photos and also uh, Google Maps for uh, just give us an idea of the layout of the surrounding areas and uh, amenities and all the attractions available to you. So. This one, uh, ready for RV living, is this is the parcel outline, and you can see there's some folks in the area. There's already power at the street. Uh, you got to work that out with the county, where you're at, what it's going to cost, what permits you need to plug into it, et cetera, et cetera, uh, as always. And you're also on the panhandle uh, in uh, driving distance to several beaches, which we'll see on Google Maps. Um, this particular property, again, 0.46 acres. And for folks that want to take a look around themselves later, feel free, copy, paste this, put it in Google Maps and choose satellite, um, or you can look at it in the normal Google Maps. I like satellite, less cartoony, and they're real satellite images, almost a virtual review of the property. And the zoning residential, yes to mobile homes, yes to RV living, yes to site-built homes, and yes to manufactured homes. But as always, you got to contact the county for all the particulars uh, related to those. And this is in a flood zone. Uh, it's zoned AE, but there's a 1% chance of flood in every 10 years. And there is uh, no wetland on the property on the wetland registry map, which you'll be able to see in our photos, um, uh, the photo of the map. Taxes are 101 bucks a year. Uh, your utilities basically would be off-grid wells, septic options, and then again, power at the road. But again, you'll need to talk to the county on that. Let's take a look at some of the still photos and then we'll move on to Google Maps. And you can see there's already a community of folks here. Uh, so that's that bodes well for you. You probably have power. Um, and then you can speak to the county in terms of well and septic for water. If you're just living with an RV, maybe you want to just put, um, put a shallow well tap or something in. Again, I'd talk to the county on what's available in their specs for the specific soil conditions in that area. Make sure you do it right and you get potable water. Uh, maybe they require uh, water testing. So uh, please do it right. All right. And then this is the outline. You've got the Apalachicola River running back here. So you can see, you could just go to the end of the road, take a short jump through the woods and maybe do some fishing, kayaking, canoeing. Uh, and, and here at your lot, um, maybe just clear a spot for the RV. Or this can also be used for a residential build lot, as you've seen. Please contact the county. And this is just a kind of a black and gray relief map with that green as the actual parcel highlighted for you. And this being the waterway, the river flow around on the other side. Okay, let's take a look next. Just a higher elevation view. Uh, you can see some of the drainage relief in that one. And again, we'll go, we'll go through the Google satellite. There's the parcel right there, Apalachicola River System. And you'll see the park in the forest, National Forest is down here. All right. All right. And that's just a high elevation still photo. Here, our uh, generous buddy Matt has highlighted uh, all of the beaches within striking distance. This is the location, that pin is the parcel. Mexico Beach, Tyndall Air Force Base, Panama City, Panama City Beach, Laguna Beach, Rosemary, Miramar, Destiny, Choctaw. And you'll see some of the other destinations as well, but you can see you're definitely in striking distance of several beaches if one were so inclined. And here's the Apalachicola National Forest. 
and here's some of the drives, Panama City Beach, one hour and four minutes, so about an hour, Panama City Beach from the location of the parcel. And the next one, this is Panama City, and that's about 47 minutes, so just over 45 minutes. And let's go to the next one. And this is the parcel location, Calhoun County. Looks like shortest distance is an hour 21 to Tallahassee, if you wanted to go in there, own the town there. So let's go ahead and take a look on the map. Here's the pin of the parcel location. This is the Apalachicola River system. And you can see there's some folks over here that have their homes near the river. And they've these folks have established the same. And this would be your parcel. Again, there is power in the area. So you would just need to speak to the county. Let's back out so you can see some more of the surrounding area. You can see some of the backwater drainage here. This is the Apalachicola River system here. You can see the different uh, riverside communities here, just kind of dotted all around. And you have immediate access to 71 here as well for the expressway. So folks that want to get into town and go do some shopping, grab, grab a bite to eat, uh, a lot of stuff in the area for you there as well. Just a really, really neat location for folks, even if you would just use it as an RV uh, vacation location. Um, man, that would, even that in of itself, this is a great location just because of the myriad of different opportunities available the beach, or you can just stay at your RV location, uh, put something on the grill, sit by the fire, uh, maybe go fishing at the river, uh, maybe run into town and grab a bite to eat, hit the local watering hole, all kinds of different things to do. Uh, family fun for sure. So let's back out a little bit more and we can continue to look around in the immediate area. Oh, sorry about that, folks. We want to back out here. There's the pin on the property. So Kennard proper, Wawahitchka is to the south directly. All right, so Apalachicola National Forest is over here to the southeast. Uh, and then west is Panama City uh, for those that want to go have some fun in the coastal areas. And then again, you've got all these beaches up the coast here to your west, uh, all within a, an hour and a half or less. So you've got plenty of opportunities there. Let's back out again. Apalachicola River Wildlife back down here. And this is the National Forest. It just took off the label uh, for those that are curious. But definitely within a good shot of any of the coast and you can take 98 jump down here on I believe that what they're showing is 71 if I'm not mistaken jump on 98 and take a little leisurely drive and hit each beach and come back to your place take a little week to go through there and check that out so let's back out so there's Tallahassee to your east Panama City Beach to the west and all the other beaches Pensacola over here might not be driving that far from your location Let's back out some more. So up here, here in the panhandle of Florida, if anyone that's looking from out of town. So, all righty then. Well, again, this property, we're asking $12,000 and it is 0.46 acres. It's in Kennard, Florida. That is Calhoun County. Yes to mobile homes. Yes to RV living. Yes to built homes. Yes to manufactured homes. Uh, but you can, if, even if you just want to live in the RV or have it as a vacation site, uh, as you drive the southeast of the United States, that'd be a great little property with all the different things you can do uh, within driving shot of that location. Uh, well and septic off grid options for utilities that you do have power at the road. Uh, no wetlands on the property. It is a high and dry lot. And a, a testament to that is there's other folks in the area uh, that have permanent buildings. And you've got the Apalachicola River uh, basically uh, right in your backyard over here. Uh, if you wanted to go fishing, canoeing, do a little kayaking, um, anything like that. So uh, until next time, guys, again, please subscribe to usrecland.com. And then also please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more video reviews like this one. And until next time, happy land hunting.